I'm here with the creator of the comic book Chew, John Lehman. How are you doing today, sir? Doing great. I'm a little tired, but that's to be expected. Long day of the convention? And a long night before. How did you get first interested in comics? Ah. Uh, you know, my gateway was uh, Star Wars. I was into Star Wars. They had Star Wars comics. Started reading Star Wars comics. They were really cool. And then I discovered Micronauts and like ROM and like toy related. And then I started looking at superheroes and, you know, picking up Avengers and Iron Man. This is in the late 70s, early 80s. X Men, right about when Claremont and Byrne were doing it. Uh, and then some DC stuff, Firestorm. Uh, but it was Star Wars that started it all. Uh, when you started writing Chew and you thought of it, were you just really hungry? I don't know. I, I don't have any. Chew had such a long gestation period. I, I desperately wish I had an interesting story about the creation of it, but I can't remember. I, it was something I held for a long time, kept pitching, no one wanted it, and after years of that, I finally decided to do it myself. Well, you don't remember what the inspiration was for? Not even close. Do you find it's a big difference to write uh, Chew compared to other superhero books? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a different sensibility. I mean, it, I think of it more of a, of a, of a, of a police, you know, a, a police procedural. You know, it's, it's closer to law and order than it is, you know, Superman. Uh, you know, he's got a weird power, but it's, it's almost more of a talent. And it, it's, uh, superheroes are different. Uh, can you tell us a little bit of the procedure that goes through the process of writing an issue of Chew? Uh, well, either I have the story or I don't. And uh, so it, some are easier than others. A lot of times I can write the beginning and the end because there's like a soap opera element of like, okay, the characters are, are in this place and this is what they're doing in the non-case part of it. And then there's a point where I have to figure out the case and there will be points where I've literally written half the issue, but I have no idea what the issue is about. I've just written the, the character beats and, you know, how it ends. And then I have to agonize to come up, come up with the correct case. For the longest time, it was mentioned that Chu might one day be adapted into a television series. And recently you said that it... I killed it. It was in development at Showtime and uh, it proved too weird... And Showtime, when they bought it, were all about Dexter and looking for the next Dexter. And now they're all about Homeland and looking for the next Homeland. And we would have fit maybe as the next Dexter, but not as the next Homeland. What do you mean too weird? You got chicken combined with frog chogs. Hey, that's not weird at all. But how do you get Poyo in a live action? How do you how do you get chogs? How do you get flaming alien riding in the sky like an a like? It would work much better as a cartoon, we think. Do you think uh, that could be in the near future? Not the near future. The future, definitely. The near future, uh, most not definitely. And can you tell us a little bit about future stories that you might uh, delve into into future issues of Chew? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, so we reached the halfway point with 30, and everything's sort of the repercussions uh, of that. Um, uh, I compare it to The Shield, one of my all-time favorite TV shows. But there is a narrative trajectory uh, where one of the where the teammates turn on each other, and Lemmy gets killed, and everything leads up to Lemmy getting killed, and then the whole series is a result of that. The, the second half, and the second half is all a result of what happens in Thirty. Uh, so you've got the series protagonist Tony who was knocked out of the game for a while, he's come back with a mission, and he's very determined. And uh, um, he's come back stronger and, and kind of like more uh, no-nonsense. And then the next arc after that is called uh, Family Recipes. And we, uh, you know, he's got this estranged relationship with his daughter, who's working with his rival, and now his partner's working with his rival. Um, so a lot of things are going to come to a head. Well, thank you very much for talking with us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the convention. It's been great. We're almost sold out of everything, so uh, can't ask for better than that. Thanks for having me.